Today I'm out at Bullers of Buchan, which is an RSPB reserve north of Aberdeen. There's loads to see here. Dolphins, orcas, guillemots, kittiwakes, everything's going on here. And today I'm hoping to get some good shots uh, of some nesting birds. So the UK has got two species of guillemots, it's called the black guillemot and the common guillemot. Um, and both guillemots lay what's called a, a pyriform egg, which means that it's pear shaped and it's huge. In comparison to the guillemot's body, it's about 11% of the female's body mass. And the egg supposedly is, uh, is specifically designed so that if it's knocked or disturbed, it rolls in an arc rather than uh, forwards or backwards so that it, it rolls and stays on the ledge that it's laid on, which is crucial when you look at the kind of locations where these birds are laying which is right on these exposed cliffs really high up um, and in quite windy and precarious locations. So even after the egg hatches the chick of the guillemot still has a really rough time of it. They are obviously really high up on those rocky ledges and once they're large enough, they essentially throw themselves off those ledges, trusting in their downy fluff to parachute them down to safety on the water level. Because their muscles aren't strong enough, they can't fly yet, but they need to continue to be fed by the adult. So they'll throw themselves off these cliffs into the water below and then continue to be fed by their parents until they're strong enough to fly away and separate. Another species of orc that lives along the cliffs here is the puffin. Now, this is a family favorite throughout the UK and Europe. These beautiful birds are one of the few orcs with these brightly colored beaks. They nest in these burrows, particularly in sandy and loamy soil around here, um, and they fish out to sea in these big rafts. The best time to see them is normally sunrise and sunset, but at this time of year, they've laid their eggs on the ground and there can be regular trips back and forth from those burrows. Although puffins are really very vocal when they're on the land, strangely enough, they are silent when they're fishing out in these rafts preferring to only make these calls when they come into their colonies to build bonds with one another, to greet and uh, display towards their mates. Um, but when they're out to sea, you can't hear anything. Just the flapping of wings as they try to take flight with those tiny little stubby wings that they're, uh, that they're blessed with that make them so good for fishing, but not so good in the whole flying thing. Puffins are sometimes affectionately known as clowns of the sea, and that's because they have this really bright beak but strangely enough, that bright beak that they're so known for is only apparent during the breeding season. After the breeding season, it falls off and it's left with a rather dull, unexciting beak underneath. When the juvenile puffins, otherwise known as pufflings, first emerge from their holes, they obviously aren't uh, mature enough to have that brightly colored beak. And so you can spot those ones during the breeding season by their smaller beaks. Another one of the birds that we can see along these cliffs, and in fact all across the coasts in Scotland, are the fulmers, which are a close relative of the albatross. Now these acrobats of the sky use the strong winds that come off the oceans to be able to hover and hold themselves close to the coast where they nest. The fulmers are actually part of a seabird uh, group called the tube noses, and they use this tubular structure on the top of their beaks to be able to siphon off the salt in salt water so that they can drink seawater, which is pretty impressive. I've been to a number of RSPB reserves and I, I think this might be my favorite. I just think it's fantastic. There are literally thousands and thousands of nesting birds around here. And just off behind me, I've just seen about six or so dolphins breaching. Um, there was a, a couple earlier on that had spotted orca uh, working their way south past this location. It's just fantastic. you might be able to make out one of my favorite birds that lives along these cliffs, and that's the razorbill. In my opinion, these are one of the most beautiful birds you can see along here. Although they're only black and white, when you see them up close, they have these really striking white markings through their beak and their eyes. And the males and females have almost identical markings, um, although the males are usually slightly larger. And every year they come onto the cliffs, they select a mate, and then they'll, they'll lay one single egg on an exposed ledge after about three to five years. And what I find adorable about these animals is that they will um, continue to, to preen one another and dote on one another and feed one another. Um, and they share the burden of incubation of that single egg into their hatches.
today, which is a lovely day in May, I have been blown away by the sheer volume of wildlife that we've seen here. Everything from fulmers to porpoises and dolphins, there is just so much to see and it's so quiet. So if you're ever in the area, I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend you go and have a look at Bullers of Buchan. And if you aren't, and it's too far to come all the way out to Scotland, which is fair enough, take a look at my shots, take a look at my videos and uh, join me again for another video sometime in the future.